want to take a few minutes to share with you a lesson that I learned a few weeks ago uh, while I was out in nature um, about prayer. And I thought I'd share these thoughts with you because they encouraged me and I think they will you. I was in the park one Saturday afternoon and it had been a beautiful, gorgeous, sunny afternoon. I'd spent some time walking around the rose gardens and appreciating their beauty when I decided to take a seat on a nearby bench. I'd noticed a, a lot of squirrels actually making themselves quite at home, but I wasn't really bothered about that because I like animals and I feel quite you know, comfortable watching them. Well, as I began to walk over to this park bench, uh, I noticed this one squirrel who took notice of me. And as I sat down on the bench with my bag of pita chips, he quite boldly walked up to the bench and wouldn't move. Now, I had no intention of sharing my pita chips with him, but this squirrel darted underneath the park bench and maneuvered himself all the while looking at me and moved closer and closer. I was astounded at his boldness, but I was curious to see what he was going to do next. I watched as this squirrel, who had obviously done this before, crept closer and closer to me until finally he stood just at my foot and reached out his paw, almost touching me on the foot. Well, you can imagine my surprise and actually my amazement. How dare this squirrel get so familiar with me? But as I noticed his behaviour, I was taken kind of aback, not just by his boldness, but by his persistence. He wanted to share something that I had and he wasn't going to move until I shared it with him. Something within me said, throw him a few, a few crumbs. So I did. And as I watched him gobble first this cracker and then that cracker, it dawned on me that I was actually seeing a spiritual lesson being lived out right in front of me. I was seeing lessons on prayer. This squirrel's persistence reminded me of the parable that Jesus told about the widow woman who persistently knocked on the judge's door late at night and would not give up until he answered her request. This squirrel won me over because he would not stop. So many times we miss out on God's blessings for us, on something that he has in store for us because we stop too soon. We are limited by our capacity to receive, even our capacity to believe. And so just at the point of receiving our blessing, we stop. Our lack of faith cheats us out of what God has to give us. The next thing that I learned from this squirrel is that he obviously had done this many times before and he was accustomed to being in the presence of humans because he knew that when they were around, he was likely to get fed. And this reminded me of a quotation from one of my favorite writers who says, God answers the prayers of those who place themselves in the channel of blessing. Jesus knew this also. And early every morning, he would go up to the Mount of Olives and place himself in the channel of blessing to receive from his heavenly father the strength that he needed for his daily tasks and his mission that day. Many of us need strength from day to day. And if we, like that squirrel, were to place ourselves in that channel of blessing, our Heavenly Father would be more than willing to give us what we need for the tasks that we face. The last lesson that I'd like to share with you that I learned from this squirrel, believe it or not, is that he was very wise. He took those cracker crumbs that I threw on the ground for him and he was very careful to eat, select and eat the largest ones first. Now you might think that's inconsequential, but I don't. Because many times when we get a blessing or a windfall, or we come into some good times, how many times we just squander it away? But this squirrel was very careful to appropriate wisely the things that he had received. And what I found really interesting is that he didn't eat every last crumb. I watched this squirrel as he ate and then he took one or two pita chips, scurried over to a place in the garden, dug a hole and buried it. 
I couldn't believe my eyes. But then I realized that even this small animal had wisdom from God on high and it taught me a lesson. God gives us gifts. He gives us things to share with others. Don't waste them on yourself. Don't abuse them, but use them appropriately. And while you're using them, make sure that you save some resources for a rainy day. I hope you've enjoyed listening to my lessons that I've learned from a very small creature in God's creation, a squirrel. Who would have thought? But some very important lessons for us. So I want to remind you, be persistent in prayer. God is willing to give us good gifts if we don't give up. Place yourself in the channel of blessing while God is available and he's always ready to give. And when God blesses you, make sure that you use his gifts wisely, not just for yourself, but make sure that you save them or use them for the benefit of others. Thanks for listening and God bless you.